click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. So now we are going to talk about that is what is the action of ammonia on LDHs and ketones. So in this topic we are going to cover that is which kind of different compound that we could obtain whenever an ammonia is been treated with LDH or whenever the ammonia is been treated with ketone. So now let us understand that in this topic. So now we are going to discuss about that's so what is the action of ammonia on aldehyde. So let us discuss about this thing first. So when we are talking about aldehyde, so the first member of the aldehyde is nothing but the formaldehyde. So the reaction of the formaldehyde with ammonia is as follows. So suppose if we have considered the formaldehyde that could be represented as HCHO. And suppose the formaldehyde is been treated with excess amount of ammonia that is NH3. Since ammonia has been present in excess, so it has been noticed that the ammonia is basically the four moles of ammonia has been utilized so as to react with six moles of formaldehyde. So in this case, the reaction proceeded in such a manner that we could get a product and that product is nothing, it is known as eurotropin. So the formula of the eurotropin is CH2 six times and this is nitrogen that is present four times in the molecule and this is the molecular formula for that and for that the name is hexamethylene because as we could see over here that is 6 or hexa methylene group that is CH2 group is been present along with that of that is tetraamine so therefore the name is hexamethylene tetraamine as I have discussed earlier also that is this is also known as eurotropin so now let me elaborate the structure of eurotropin. So the structure of the eurotropin is as follows where we can find that is there is an alternate carbon nitrogen bond in the cyclic ring. So that's the reason that this is the carbon that I have represented over here and this is the nitrogen. Again there will be nitrogen over here. This is the carbon. Again here it will be carbon and this is nitrogen. So this is somewhere it's like benzene where we could find that is there is alternate carbon nitrogen atom present in the ring and obviously we have represented that is three nitrogens in the ring so therefore there will be an another nitrogen that would be in the middle of the ring so this is what i have represented over here so since we have mentioned that is there is six methylene group so here six carbon should be present so that is the reason that here it would be that is a carbon here also there should be a carbon and here also there should be a carbon atom over here and this is hexamethylene so therefore this one would be nothing but CH2 even this would be CH2 CH2 and this is what the structure of eurotropin is so this is nothing but eurotropin and this is nothing but a cage like structure where we could find that is the nitrogen is present in the middle of it while the rest of the ring is as follows as you could see over here. So now let me discuss about the another reaction where an acetaldehyde is been reacted with ammonia. So friends now suppose if we have considered that is acetaldehyde that is CH3 C double bond OH and suppose if that reacts with ammonia that is NH3. So obviously it will undergo an addition reaction and that is how basically we could find a product and that is nothing but CH3 here it will be CH one of the hydrogen of the ammonia it will attach on the oxygen atom over here so therefore this one will be converted into OH and this one is nothing but NH2 so the name of the compound that has been formed over here it is basically known as acetaldehyde ammonia so the product that has been formed over here is known as acetaldehyde ammonia But this is not the final product that we could get over here. Obviously, it will undergo a further reaction where we could find that is there is an elimination of the water molecule. So this is the reason that is we could find that is this OH along with that of this H of the ammonia group that is NH2 group it would be removed in the form of water that is minus H2O and the only thing that will be remaining with us is the basically CH3 C H now here will be double bond NH and this kind of molecule that has been formed over here it is basically known as imine but this is a very unstable structure so that's the reason that 
we are representing it with a square bracket over here. So the imine form, as we understand that there is a presence of a double bond over here, so obviously it can form a trimonism. So that is how the structure that we could form over here is actually represent over here, and this will undergo that is trimerism. And the following product that we could get is CH3. CH here will be that is NH. Now here will be that is CH. Here it will be CH3. And now talking about this one, that is here it will be that is NH. Here will be CH. Here will be CH3. And here will be that is NH. So this is how the structure forms and this is basically known as cyclic. So this is basically known as cyclic trend. So now let us see that is what is the action of ammonia on ketone. So here friends we are going to talk about what is the action of ammonia on ketone. So the example that we could take is acetone that is CH3, C double bond O, CH3. But it has been found that is the acetone it undergoes a condensation process and that is how basically we could find that is the acetone is reacted with another molecule of acetone so that is how we can represent it as that is CH3 C double bond O CH3 so it has been found that is there will be an elimination of water molecule that is minus H2O and this kind of process is basically known as condensation process where we could find that is among this two hydrogen will take away this oxygen over here and that is how we see the water molecule has been uh, it is eliminated or it has been removed from the reaction and the product that we could form over here is CH3 C double bond O because the two hydrogen atoms are being removed from here so therefore there will be a presence of that is CH and here it will be basically double bond while the rest of the thing it will be that is carbon over here and this is CH3 and here it will be CH3. So the product that has been formed over here is basically known as mesetyl oxide. Well, according to IUPC we can give the name uh, according to the IUPC also that is this one would be considered as carbon number one, carbon number two, three, four and this is carbon number five. So as we understand that is this is the methyl group that has been attached on the fourth carbon atom so that's for the name of this is basically four methyl and the total number of carbon over here in the street chain is one two three four five so therefore it will be called as a pentane in terms of an alkene but this is not in pentane obviously we can find a double bond over here so therefore the name of this is pent three in and on the second position we could find that is a presence of a carbonyl group so that is the reason that the name is that is four methyl pent 3 in 2 on but since we are talking about the reaction of that is a ketone with ammonia so obviously we understand that this will react with ammonia that is NH3 and in this case basically the product that we could form over here is basically there would be a kind of an addition reaction and that is how basically the hydrogen atom it would get attached on this while the NH2 it will attach on this carbon atom so let us see what is the product that we could find so that is CH3 C double bond O so this will be as it is and here it will be CH along with one of the hydrogen of the ammonia it will get attached over here and now this will be converted into a single bond this will be CH3 and here it will be CH3 while well, along with that this carbon will acquire that is NH2 so this is what we have formed over here but what is the name of the product that we have got it over here so for that we have to mention the IUPC name so this is the carbon number one that we have this is carbon number two three four and five we understand that is we should give the name in terms of an alphabetical order so we can find that is on the fourth carbon there is a presence of an amino group or there is a presence of an amine group so therefore the name of this is four amine four amino that is four methyl and the rest of the thing we could give the name for it that is it consists of five carbon atom in a straight chain so therefore we could say that it is pentane and on the second carbon atom we could find a carbon group so therefore pentane to own. this is it that is what we have discussed about that what is the action of ammonia on aldehyde and ketone so that is a different reaction and that is a different process that we have discussed over here and that is what i want to discuss about
So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.